Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Tuesday Craft Day. You got a little sneak peek of Mr. Shepherd as he walked by, getting ready to go out and play golf. Um, I'm recording this actually after I finish the project, but I did want to come on and just kind of explain. We are trying our macrame today. Now, what I did, instead of the plant hanger, because that's a little overpowering right now for me to try to f figure out where to hang it and so on and so forth. But I want to get back into trying some macrame. I really do like to do that, but I just haven't done it in 30 odd years now. So I think 2022 we shall try something new. So what I did is I purchased a little kit from Amazon and I will link the number to that kit down in the description box. And that kit has all kinds of things in it. It has some macrame cord. It has some rings and some beads. So you can put beads on your macrame if you're making little wall hangings. It also has the little dowel sticks. So what I'm going to do is I'm using one of the dowel sticks today and some macrame cord that I had that's blue, only because I think it will show up a little more. And we're going to make a little wall hanging. Now, I will tell you, it is by no means correct. <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't kind of say it's by no means perfect. It's really by no means even close to being perfect. But guess what? It was fun trying it. Uh, I still have some work to do, and it's not very much cord used. And if I don't like it and want to do some more practicing, all I have to do is slide the dowel out and start again with a different one. So and I want to show you what we did today to make a little mini wall hanging. And again, I followed a tutorial that I got on Made by Hand, and I will link that tutorial down in the description box also. Now, if you need to go watch that one, and you will see what it really is supposed to look like. But it was fun, and I think it's important that we not feel that we can't try something just because we've never done it before or haven't done it in a long, long time. So let's get busy and try to make a little wall hanging. Now this is kind of chopped up here and there because I made lots of mistakes and I'm going to try to edit a lot of them out. But I will see you in just a minute down at the desk and we're going to make a little wall hanging. Back in a sec. Alright, I have cut 10 pieces of cord that are four feet long. And I'm going to take each piece at one at a time, fold it in half so the ends are even. Now I'm going to take the other end, and I have a little dowel here. I'm going to go around the dowel around the dowel And I'm going to put these two pieces of cord through the loop. And pull it up. And that's called a lark's head knot. And basically all it is is casting these onto the dowel. Okay, put that around the back and put the two cords through it. And the reason we're going to do this little one is because the cords aren't too long. And if you haven't done macrame, or in my case, haven't done it in a long time, you're not working with human, hum, humongous cords like you would be if you're doing something like a plant hanger, okay? Down the back. Can you see it? 
Can you see the loop has gone behind the pole? Okay. Take these and go through the, down through the loop. I'll do a couple more and then I'll put the rest of them on. Bend it in half, wrap the loop around, pull the cords through. Get the cord in half. Wrap the loop around, pull the cords through. It's a little awkward because I'm holding this rod at the same time. Normally you wouldn't be, it would be hung up. Last one. Around the back, reach through the loop and pull through the cords. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, now the first knot that we're going to make is called a square knot, and we're going to use four pieces of the cord. One, two, three, four. And if you remember the old adage that says for a square knot, it's right over left and up under, left over right and up under. We're going to take these two, the outer two cords, are what's called the tying cords. The two in the middle are anchor cords. So I'm going to take the right one. I'm going to go over the anchor cords. Then I'm going to take the left one, and I'm going to go over that cord I just put there, come under the anchor cords, and up through that loop. And we just pull these up. Okay. Now we have to go left over right. Left goes over the anchor cords. Okay. The right one is going to go over that cord, under the anchor cord, and up through this loop. And now we'll tighten this one. And that's what's called a square knot. Let's move on to the next four. Let me get them separated here. Okay. The right goes over the anchor cords. The left goes over the right, under the anchor cords, and in through that loop we just made. And 
and we tie it up. Okay. Now we're going to do it the other way. Over. Over. Under. And through the loop. We've made two square knots. Next four. over and it goes under the one over here over two under one then the one that it went under is going to go under two and up through the loop And I'd have to keep straightening these because it's not hanging. It's a lot easier if it's hanging. Okay, now we're going to do left. Over two. Under one. Take that one that went under one. Go under the middle two and up through this loop. And that's the second half of the square knot. The square knot is two halves in order to make a full square knot. Now once you've got that square knot down, that's all we're going to be doing here for a few rows. Now we'll start row two. In the row two, I'm going to get rid of these first two. And I'm going to use the next four. One, two, three, four. We'll just move this out of the way. Okay, same knot. Over two, under one. Okay, then take that one that, that I'm under. Go under these two and in through this loop. And bring it up. Over two, under one, that one goes behind, and up through the loop. So now we have made one in between the other two. You see? We have one here, one here, and one in between. 
All right, we'll go on to the next four. One, two, three, four. Same thing. Sorry, it's just moving so much. Over two, under one, around, up through the loop. On to the next four. These two. Okay, next two, I'm going to do the same thing, uh, going over two, under one. That one's going under the two, and then through the loop. Over two, under one. That one goes under these two. And in through this loop. There's that one. Okay, the next four, these two and these two. Over two, under one. That under one is going to go under the two and up through the loop. Over two, under one. That goes under the two and up through the loop. Okay, so now you have the second row of square knots. And you can see they're alternating with the first row. Alright, we're going to make another row. And what we're trying to do is it's coming down like in a V. Okay? So this time we're going to get rid of one, two, three, four. And we're going to use the next four. And we're going to do the same thing. Over two, under one. That under one is coming under the two. 
and up through this loop. Next four. And then I have four that I didn't use on the other end. So you can see the shape we're getting here. Next row. One, two, three, four. Five, six, and we'll use these four. Okay, in the last row, we're just going to do the four in the middle. So we'll get all of these out of the way. One, two, and we're just going to do these four. And that will make one right down the middle. Okay. Let's see if I can show you. One more time. The right one goes over two. Make like a letter four. Okay? And under that one. Now that one is going to go under the two and up through this loop. And we're going to tighten it up. Now we're going to do the same thing again, the other way. 
make a letter four. That goes under these two and up through this four loop. And so now we have this pretty V. Isn't that pretty? All right, we're going to move on to a new knot now. And this one is called a half hitch. Okay, now we're going to go on to the next knot. And this one is called a double half hitch. And we're going to start with the first two. I'm going to take this first one, cross it over the second one. And you don't have to do that the rest of the time. It's only because it's the first one. Okay? Now, I'm just going to make a loop, come up, and tie a knot. And it makes a, like a little knot right at the end of that. But I'm going to do that twice. A loop, come around, tie the knot, and pull it up. is two little round knots, okay? So now we'll go on to the next one. Make a loop. Go around. Tie a knot. Make a loop. Go around. Tie a knot. Moving to the next one. And you see it's creating like a little border. Around the things that we have done. I'm just going to continue. Next one, around. Make a knot. And you do it twice with each rope. To the next one. Okay. Next one. Around. Next one. Last one. This is the middle one, and I'm going to take one of one of them and go this way. those and you see that nice little ridge we made I'm going to do the same thing coming this way now okay here we are on the other side now I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to go over okay back through the loop through the loop.
over, back through the loop, over, back through the loop, Next one. There. You see, when the light comes through it. Now, what I'm going to do is take this off and turn it over and put it back on. And we're going to do the same thing we just did, but on the back side. And this is called a reverse double hitch. Okay? Take the first two. One goes over the cross, oh, crosses over. Now this is going to go around, through the loop, and make a hitch. All right, now that it's turned over, we're going to do that same one one more time. So I'll just start it and then finish it off the camera. Okay, this one goes over. Okay, make a loop. Get a hitch. Make another loop. Get a second hitch. Sorry for the cord there. I just was trying to finish this up and guess what? <laughs> I ran out of juice. So what I've done is just trim off the bottom so that they're even and I can take these if I want to and just kind of pull them apart a little bit and it just gives it like a little bit of a frayed look but I think that's okay look at that it's not bad now it certainly is not perfect but this was um, absolutely a learning experience for me I have never done a wall hanging with any kind of knotting. And you know, this didn't take a lot of cord. And all I have to do if I want to practice again is just pull this off this little dowel and make another one. So give it a try. Now I looked at a tutorial by a, a, a person, well this channel is called Made by Hand. and do go over and look at hers because it is much, much clearer than mine. And I am still working on find to find a place where I can hang it. And she does the macrame all the time, so she has it set up well for it. I can hang this, but my little dowel was going all over the place. So I have to find a way to stabilize it. But anyway, for the first time in 30 years, I think it came out okay. So give it a try. Try something new. Let's expand our horizons in 2022. Okay, I will see you again on Friday. And we'll be doing some kind of craft. Not sure yet what. But until then, have a great afternoon. Stay safe. And everybody, play nice now. Thank you. And bye-bye. Love you.